This video is an unboxing of eCollar Technologies Mini Educator Model 300. I'll be going over what you will find in the box, including the handheld transmitter and receiver. Howdy, I'm Al the Dog Trainer, and I'm here to help you raise a happy and reliable dog. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about how to train your dog, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is the packaging for the Mini Educator. I'm gonna quickly go over what you're gonna see on the box. On the very back is where you're gonna find the majority of details about the different features and things that I have. I'm not gonna go over those right now, but you can read them here, you can pause the video if you wanna watch that. The reason you're probably here is you wanna actually see what is inside the box, so here we go. So inside the box, you are going to find several things. The two most important things that you're probably wondering about are the transmitter and the receiver. I'll go over those last. Let's start right up here. So right up at the top, you're gonna to find the charging cable that you're gonna to use to charge your mini educator. The mini educator uh, charges fairly quickly, I'd say about a couple of hours, and you can charge the receiver and transmitter at the same time. But pretty standard plug, comes with those two right there so you can plug them in in a dual fashion. Next in this middle one, you're gonna find a lanyard. Some people find this useful to be able to put around their neck and you're gonna find on the receiver, I'm sorry, on the transmitter, that there is a place to attach this, and then you put that around your neck. And the next one are some useful components that you're gonna need. Inside the very first baggie, you're gonna find the long contact points that come standard with each one of the collars uh, that they sell. In the other baggie, what you're gonna find are three different items, okay? This item right here is the testing light. It actually has a filament that runs right underneath there, and then when you connect it to the, uh, you connect it to the, uh, the receiver, then you're gonna see a light there to show you that it actually is working. Next, you're gonna have this tool right here. Now, this is to remove the skin that is actually over the transmitter you use this little notch to be able to pop it off. But that is the tool to rem uh, remove the skin. The next thing you're gonna find is this tool. This tool is actually used to be able to remove the contact points on the back. So if you're needing to change from the short contact points to the long contact points, then this is the tool for you. So next up is the receiver for your mini educator. It is on the smaller side of receivers when you compare it to other ones but here you can see where the biothane strap is going to go through, okay, to be able to fit onto your dog. It comes with this standard biothane buckle. It will fit practically any dog that I can imagine. I don't think I've ever had a dog that, uh, that could, not, uh, could not wear this. Now on the back side, you're gonna see the contact points. It comes with the short ones already pre-installed. You're gonna see the type uh, the model number and the serial number, you're also going to see a little gasket covering the charging port right there for you. That's where you're actually gonna, going to connect the power. Now, on this side, I like to call this the top side, you have an LED light that's going to tell you different things about the color, and then you also have this red dot. This red dot is actually a magnet and is how you're actually going to go about turning on the mini educator. Now on the other side, okay, nothing quite there. And then you just see the loops right there to be able to uh, put your collar through there. They do sell some accessories that you can use. I like to use the quick snap bungee collar, which I'll talk about in another video. But uh, you can definitely remove this, you can wash it, you can clean it and do several things with that. So next up, you're going to find the transmitter. Now the transmitter has several key functions. On the sides, you're gonna see two stimulation buttons, a low level and a boost button, black S and red S. You're gonna have the rheostat here on the top. That's what you're going to use to change the levels. This is your antenna, which is removable. I don't believe that there are upgrades for the antenna, but these do get old, sometimes they crack, and so it's just a nice way to be able to replace that by uh, taking that off. The next thing that you have is you do have this multi-function button. Um, it is the T button, and by default, it is set to, uh, to vibrate uh, the receiver uh, anytime that you depress it. Now, you do see this notch right here, and if you remember, you can use this tool right here, insert it there to be able to pop it off and take off the skin off of the receiver. So that's what this tool is actually for. So as we go around the collar, 
the next thing you're going to find is this little red dot right here. This little red dot, it is a magnet, and that is actually how you go about turning on the receiver. The transmitter does not need to be turned on, but what you will do to turn on the receiver, which you see the red dot there and the red dot there, when you touch the two of them together, you'll see that green flashing light. It's really that simple. To be able to turn it off, you just push them back together, and I don't know if you saw that, but there was a very quick red flashing light. That is actually how you turn on your receiver. Now, as we continue to work our way around, then you're going to find this notch right here, and that's actually where you're gonna go about attaching the lanyard. So there you go, the lanyard is on there, nice little swivel action, fits well there. And now after that, you do have one more slot right there that you can use to be able to remove the skin off of that. Now let's go to the back side. On the back side, there is a, a port right there that is a, I'm not quite sure what size threaded uh, mount that is, but uh, you can uh, you can attach accessories right there. Like there's a, uh, I believe there is a belt clip that you can attach there. So back here, you're gonna find the L button. Uh, the L button is primarily used to turn on and off the transmitter but it's also used to turn on the night light feature, which is one of the features I really like about this collar. The next button that you have is the MNC button. The MNC button allows you to change modes on the collar. Now underneath there, you're gonna see embossed the e-collar technologies, toll-free number. You can call that number to get service. There is your model number, and then here is the port that when you uncover, opens it up, and there you can go ahead and charge that up. Like I said earlier, it does charge fairly quickly. Let's come over to the front display. I'm going to turn the collar, uh, turn the transmitter on for just a moment. I'm going to press the button on the back for a couple of seconds and it'll turn it on. So now you're going to see the display on there. I'm going to do my best to really kind of show you what's going on the display here. So you see several things that are going on. 1D is flashing. Then you also see M and C, and you can see as I'm dialing, as I'm swiveling the or rotating the rheostat, that the levels are changing. Okay, it is fairly sensitive, and the remote caller is going to come with 100 different levels. 100 is not marked by a number, it is marked by the word high. So that is the display. Really nice display, easy to see at night, not so easy to film all the time but that is that. Just to kind of show you a couple of different things, obviously you have the mini educator in, uh, printed on the front, and then you have this little status bar. When the status bar is just flashing green, that means that you have plenty of power. Um, you should be able to use your remote caller as usual. However, if you see it, uh, if you're not depressing any of the buttons that are on the side and you happen to uh, see an amber or red flashing light, that means that your remote collar does need to be charged as soon as possible. Here, when I'm going to go ahead and tap this button here, when I tap that, you're gonna see that it's going to illuminate the display and it's also going to illuminate down below and you're gonna see that light right there. So it'll show you that it is sending little continuous signal, a little momentary signal. If I come and hit the other button in the mode that I'm in, then you will see that it will continuously send a signal for up to 10 seconds. And there's the 10 seconds. Now, underneath the tray that has all these different components, you're also going to find a few other things. On the bottom of the box, you're gonna find these three things. First is you're gonna find this warranty card, which you can scan the QR code with your mobile device, or you can simply fill this out and mail it in. You're also going to find this very important notice about your dog possibly having a metal allergy. Be sure to read over it and be aware that some dogs actually do have allergies to metals. And the last thing that you're gonna find in the box is the instruction manual. The instruction manual has a lot of detail in there and a lot of information that is sure to set you up for success to help you with your dog. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. If it was useful, be sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below. Have a great day. Talk to you later.